Now, a few days ago, North Korea appears to have tested the same type of tactical guided missiles it launched in 2019 and in 2020, the KN-24. South Korea's military says it has the capabilities to detect and intercept this kind of projectile. Our defense correspondent, Pei eun reports. A photo released by North Korea's state-run media on Tuesday shows that what the regime fired the day before appears to be its KN-24 missile. The North's KCNA reported that the regime conducted a test of its tactical guided missiles and claimed that the two missiles precisely hit an island target in the East Sea. Tactical guided missiles are short-range weapons used in the immediate combat area. The KN-24 resembles the U.S. Army's tactical missile system and is typically launched from what's called a TEL, or a wheel transporter erector launcher. It's known to be able to fly on a complicated trajectory to evade interception. KN-24 missiles can maneuver easily, making them difficult to be detected by ballistic missile defense radars. So with the defense radar South Korea currently has, intercepting this missile would be tricky. This marks the fourth time that the North has launched this type of missile. It last fired the KN-24 in March 2020, after testing it twice in August 2019. But regarding the latest launch, South Korea said it has the ability to detect and intercept it. Our military has the capability to detect and intercept this weapon, and we're continuing our efforts to strengthen our defense systems. Seoul's military had earlier confirmed on Monday that the North launched two projectiles that appear to be ballistic missiles from an airfield in its capital city of Pyongyang. It said that the missiles flew about 380 kilometers at a maximum altitude of 42 kilometers. The latest missile was the fourth time this year that the North had tested some type of projectile. The previous two launches involved what the North claimed to have been hypersonic missiles, which are capable of maneuvering at very high speeds. Pei Arirang News.